Hey guys, it's Steve for Collector Mania, uh, here doing my mono red deck tech in my series of 32. Um, this is uh, Zerilan, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name fully, of the claw. Uh, probably one of the best uh, dragon tribal commanders out there. He uh, basically lets you tap three, uh, colorless and two red, and then search your library for pretty much any dragon and put it on the battlefield. And you'll see there's a lot of ways to exploit that. Um, usually they do exile at the end of turn, but we've got a lot of ways to kind of counter that in here, which, you know, the deck's obviously built around him. So here, let's get into it real quick. Um, of course, the commander, uh, one of my favorite altars that I've ever done. I really, really like the scales and the teeth and everything like that. Just decided to kind of do uh, like a lizard man kind of thing with the staff, you know, just because the old artwork, it's cool, but I don't know, it's hard to see him. So <laughs> decided to do my own thing. And of course, we've got our Pokemon tokens, which I've said that I put in pretty much almost all my decks. They just look cool to me. So we've got a Charizard and I think two other Charizards. Makes The deck makes lots of dragon tokens, so. Then we've got a Sarkin Dragon Speaker. Of course, you can't really, you know, have a dragon deck without Sarkin. That just doesn't even make sense. Uh, Chandra Flame Collar. Great wheel effect and great for getting, you know, some little guys out there that deal some damage. Also, you can do kind of a board clear if you really need to. We've got a Dragon Master Outcast, making Dragon Tokens, of course. There's a lot of Mana Ramp built in here, of course. Uh, being monocolor, sometimes that can be a little bit tricky, but I've definitely <laughs> put quite a few things in here for that, Iron Mirror being one of them. Uh, Dragon Lord Servant. Uh, dragon Reduction, you know, cost-wise, it, it helps a lot. You'll, there's, I think there's two of these guys in here. Got a Burnished Heart. Uh, Magus of the Wheel, really good wheel effect, of course. Uh, Felt on the third path, we end up putting a lot of our dragons in the graveyard after we, uh, you know, summon them with uh, our commander. And this guy is really good at, you know, bringing them back, you know, in a token form. So uh, here's the other guy that I was talking about, another dragon reduction cost guy. Dragon Speaker Shaman. And Solemn Simulacrum, of course. Changeling Berserker, this guy's great with the commander. Um, in a pinch, you can... Exile himself, you know, just by some, like using his ability and grabbing this guy. If a board clear is coming or something like that, you can also save one of your other dragons. Just a really kind of cool trick. Uh, Skyship Stalker, uh, lower cost dragon. Usually kind of get him out before my commander, but, you know, he's good as a, a chump blocker. He can also, you know, actually kill quite a few things, you know, just by fire breathing and then giving himself first strike. So pretty cool. We've got a Thunderbreak Regent, of course. The deck uh, primarily runs dragons, so makes sense to have him. Uh, Urbrass the Hidden, having haste for all my creatures, and then all the other guys' stuff coming in tapped is great. A Scourge, this guy is great for just dealing a lot of damage to people, <laughs> and, you know, other creatures as well. Plus, he has fire breathing, so, you know, you can't complain. Hoarding Dragon, this is kind of like the utility dragon in here. It gets a lot of the artifacts that you really need to make the deck work. So he, he's a key piece. Probably why I picked up a foil one. Storm Breath Dragon, just a good tra dragon with some protection. Plus, you know, the monstrosity does come in handy sometimes. We've got a Thunder Mile Kite, amazing dragon. Uh, tapping down flyers is always a good thing, especially when you're trying to finish the game. Steel Hellkite will definitely solve a lot of problems that we couldn't normally solve in this uh, color. Uh, there's not a, <laughs> you know, as you probably know, there's not a lot of enchant removal in red. So this is uh, kind of our best shot here, and it definitely works. Uh, Scourge of the Throne, uh, extra combat phases. Really cool dragon. I like the way he looks. It's a little bit different. And they've got a Hellkite Tyrant, of course. Um, another one of the key dragons in the in the deck. You can actually just win the game on this with this guy. Um, there's should there's about enough artifacts in here alone, but usually you've end up stolen some by this point to just have the twenty and win the game. Really cool card. Flame blast dragon. Tyrant's familiar. Uh, really good uh, lieutenant ability. Plus it's got flying and haste. Five five. Spawn of Thraxus. This is kind of another one of those finishers. Uh, it's kind of like the Scourge of the Throne. He's just good at coming in and doing a whole bunch of damage to people. Uh, Null Spine Dragon. This guy can be tricky to use, but once you've kind of learned how to use him, he's really, really good. You know, just grabbing a whole bunch of cards. 
uh, Dragon Mage, another one of those kind of effects, the wheel effects. Uh, Udavari Hellkite, um, really, really good in this deck, of course. Making a whole bunch of dragon tokens is always good. Go Garden Hellkite, another one of those damage finishers. Um, finished the game several times with this guy, and also just kind of dealt with pesky creatures. Uh, Dragon Tyrant, one of the big finishers in the deck. This guy will single-handedly win you the game if you got somebody low enough and you have enough mana. Then we've got Elixir for Reshuffle, of course. Uh, this is kind of one of those tricks that I was talking about. Um, basically, before the trigger goes off on, you know, at the end step for Zillerin, you just uh, tuck the dragon back into your library. That way he doesn't get exiled. Really cool card. Probably the only place you'll ever see it, <laughs> that card. Uh, Wayfarer's Bobble, really good mana ramp. Soul Ring, of course, more mana ramp. Uh, Lantern, this is a, a way to, you know, put them back in your library after they've gone to the graveyard, after you sacrifice them or whatever. Mindstone. Swift Foot Boots. Got Illusionist Bracers. Doing the ability twice, of course, is uh, what you want to be doing, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sundial Infinite, another way to kind of keep your dragon. This one is preferable because you get to keep it on the battlefield and it doesn't, you know, have to be sacrificed or reshuffled back into your library, so pretty cool card. Sword of the Animus, a little bit of mana ramp. Fire Diamond, some more mana ramp. Ruben Medallion, I love the way this card looks. It's just so cool. I like this whole series where they did the, uh, the reprints of them and put them in the monocolor commander decks. They just all looked awesome. I think this is one of the only ones I have left. I don't know where the other ones went. Uh, Thousand Year Lecture, um, another way to kind of do our commander's ability twice and, you know, get him a, have it happen as soon as he hits the battlefield. Astronaut's Altar, a way to sacrifice dragons. Commander Sphere, card draw and ramp. Uh, Vessel of the Endless Rest, this can be good for a lot of things, really. Um, it has, you know, helped me put dragons back in, you know, to my library and stuff like that. Um, but it also has kind of stopped graveyard decks from doing their shenanigans. So it it really is just a good card. Good mana ramp card. Uh, extra plane lens, making a lot of mountains. <laughs> or a lot of mana, I mean. Slate of Ancestry, usually we don't have a card or a hand, so it's just good to draw a whole bunch of cards. Hedron Archive. Gilded Lotus. Conjurer's Closet, another way to get around the, the exile uh, trigger. Cage Sun, another mana doubler. Then we've got Goblin Bombardment, um, good sack outlet. Dragon Tempest, this card is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> uh, just uh, my One of my friends actually showed me this, uh, Seth, you might have seen him in the other video. He has a Dragon Lord Culligan, uh, not the when he becomes a dragon lord, but the prior one where he, when he swings, he buffs all your dragons for each dragon that's swinging. He has this card in there, and it just myrtleizes us each time it gets played, so I figured I'd try it in here, and it has definitely worked out really well. Blood Moon, this is a new addition. Really excited to try this out. Uh, sneak Attack. Crucible of Fire, of course. Dragon deck, just makes sense. Gratuitous Violence, Double Strike. <laughs> Warstorm Surge, this many times can win you the game on its own, you know, just having those triggers. We've got a Reverberate. Um, really good for early game, like if somebody goes to like Rampant Growth and you just have it in your hand. It, I've done that plenty of times, but really good late game because then you can like counter a counter. It works really, really well. Chaos Warp, Red's, Mono Red's best removal. Reiterate, kind of the same thing with uh, Reverberate. Uh, just a really good copy spell, plus this one has buyback, so if you have a ton of mana doublers out there, you can use this card pretty much indefinitely. Volcanic Offering, one of my favorite instant speed red spells, especially in Commander, <laughs> where you can kind of coax people into destroying other people's stuff at the same time. We've got a Mizium Mortars. This is the only sorcery in the deck. This will probably come out for something like... I've been trying to put a Blasphemous Act in here, and I just don't have an extra one laying around, so this is kind of a fill-in for that, but it works in a pinch. It can be spot removal or a small board wipe, but, you know. Now we're getting to our non-basic lands. we got a Haven of the Spirit Dragon. Of course, playing a lot of dragons. I don't have a Nugan for this deck. I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> I've got a Crucible of the Spirit Dragon. Once again, dragons. 
Myriad Landscape, a little bit of ramp. Crystal Vein, a little bit of ramp again. I love this card, it's so cool. Uh, Temple of False God, Spine Rock Null, really helps uh, get some of those crazy creatures. Like This is one of the only decks that I actually like putting these hideaway cards in because it's really easy to deal seven damage to somebody and then just trigger it and get whatever you want out. So Some Cycle Lands, or a Cycle Land. Uh, Dormant Volcano. And then I believe the rest are just mountains, yep. Um, so anyway, that is my deck tech for uh, this guy here, Zillerin. I'm still not sure if I'm saying his name right. Uh, if one of you guys want to correct me, you definitely can. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite commander decks. Um, and as always, uh, just remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and let us know anything that you'd like us to do. This uh, deck list will be on Tapped Out, and it, we should have a link in the description. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you next time.